Hi, welcome to Arch Labs. This is um, R2D2 version already, released soon in beginning of July 2017. This is a tutorial about Inkscape, about Sardi, how to make icons for the Sardi icon tool. I have given you already a tutorial starting from a PNG and then tracing the PNG and making, changing it, of course, for the zoom icon. Then um, I'm going to look for an, another way to make icons and I have here looked for squid because calamares.svg it's always more interesting to have an SVG there is one here uh, it seems we could download that one there it's always a good sign that this is blank on the back side on the back end if we click on here we see here SVG the thing is you have to save it be possible to save as and then there you go we are lost we do not want a png from an svg so that's a common mistake we do not want that we want really an svg so if um, if you can't find it online the svg then the second thing i thought about was getting the calamaris and seeing that maybe somewhere down there in this code there is an SVG so I clicked here I said download it then everything is downloaded it's in the zip file and then you say right mouse click ex uh, extract here everything and then you have this here the Calamares master we are now actually in Nemo for the ones wondering how why is this looking like it is so this is our extra uh, file manager that I've installed to be able to work efficiently with icons. There is this little button here and I can look for SVGs very easy and also visual, visually, meaning I can really look at it at the icon. I'll zoom in and zoom out and all that. So this is an SVG, a real one. Why a real one? If I double click it, it's going to open with Inkscape. And I'm going to say to scale the elements, that's good. So this is what we have been given by the Calamares GitHub. The question is, can I use it for my system, for Sardi and Surfing? Probably. So let's go ahead and figure that out. Well, if you see the Sadi icons, it's a circle and the thing in the middle is white. So this complete box should become white. That would be nice if that's possible. Let's analyze. We have this element here and we have a shadow there. Well, first control Z. The shadow has to go. I'm not interested in the shadow. Here I see another shadow. Delete not that one otherwise yeah we can delete that one as well doesn't matter the shadows should go and that's another element as you can see so what we can do is take the small elements and see what happens if we delete it okay still fine then you have this thing and this element so what's um oh my my key is again not activated screen key that was a little bit better and then we wish we can do some stuff what can we do for instance I'm thinking about Sardi what if it is possible that I use this element against that element and cut it out from each other is that possible can we do the difference between those two what happens now uh -huh. i can see through it now and everything looks okay Control Z. so now i have this look through thing hmm. yeah that's a possibility same applies here and there and you do the path and you do the difference to cut the path Oops, not a cut path again, but the difference. So it's a union difference, the section just 
take a guess and, and, and try. So the difference we have here, now we have two elements. So if that's gone already, that's fine. And this one, okay, this one should be like so. And then we should delete it, the difference between it. So now we have already this. Okay. And this is a gradient, it seems. I'm gonna, oops, I just want to delete the gradient. That was too much. So I just want to get rid of the gradient, and that's done at this point in time. It's no longer a gradient, it's just a flat color. Now, I think I need to, let's save it first. I think I need to see the definite folder, the definite um, icon it's gonna go on to. So I'm gonna, no, I'm gonna go, always the same. Provide me if you want to uh, provide me with uh, self-created icons. You should base yourself on this one. Voila. Default icon. And it's an elephant. So this one is what I want you to base on to make new icons. And we're going to say already save as, so we don't forget to rename it. Let's think, I believe we have called it al-calamaris, save. I know it's still an elephant, but in the meantime, the name is correct. Then we take all of this, control C, we put it on the other one, control V, very small, control shift, bigger, elephant has to go, and this one has to go in here, and that's why I do it, because now I see what's going on. So I see through it, and if I can make these white, oh, okay, I still recognize it is all uh, the Calamaris icon. And there you go, we've made ourselves an icon, there is one little thing, let's zoom in. Is there a line? I think there is a line between the other one and the other, so that's better. So now we have a hole, if you really want a line, you have to maybe do it like so, it's also a possibility. But then you make it yourself a little bit difficult, why? Because we're gonna make a shadow, and we have a little line here, and a little line there, no, not a line there, but anyway a line here, since the sun is coming from top. Uh, left. So I'm going to use Ctrl Z and also going to tell them this one and that one please group together so when I move it it's just one big group when I select it it's, it goes together. Okay. Then it's um, making the shadow. It's more or less centered so do not really I don't have the, the need to really focus with these uh, these um, tools here, there are tools align and distribute and all that. I just take my eyes and look. And then this one. I zoom in. Control A. Control A. And now be sure every node is selected. And then I go up here and I tell them make selected nodes. Corner once, twice. Because the sun is shining straight up with the shadow anyway. Oops, control Z, I do this every time. First here, then there, then there, and now I can move just one. Otherwise, you're moving all the nodes. So that's one. Don't need that one. Want that one here. I'm gonna put that there. Yippla! It's so much fun. And then it should be just that. Fun. The sun is shining on the left. No shadow possible here. Zoom out, zoom in. Let's take a look. Looks good. This is our new icon, Alcalamares, or 
just a couple of minutes. It's our installer from um, Arch Labs. It's five, six, seven screens, and three minutes later, we have your operating system. Well, I guess uh, that's that. Uh, Control Shift Save. Telling you that there is a possibility to save with S Video. There's a little program that's online. I've installed it, it's an extension. And now I'm really sure that, uh, let's have a look, that all things that can be removed are removed and then with a very, very small SVG and scrolls, uh, which uh, makes it always faster, nicer, cleaner. And there you go. It's replaced and you know what I have to do next. This is Sardi flexible. Then I'll make a mono one, Sardi mono. Then I'll make a Sardi one, then I'll make a Sardi flat one, then a Sardi Orbi, and then last Sardi, not last, Sardi Ghost, flexible, and then the surfer icon. And then I have created, I don't know, seven icons, I suppose, out of one. All right. Have fun making icons.